Hello and welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin. Today we're looking at the CBI's assertions that the government faces tough choices on how it supports students through university. The business body is advocating cuts to the cash channeled towards supporting students in order to preserve university teaching and research. The CBI's recommendations come following a year-long study looking at how businesses and universities can work together in the face of the recession. But the National Union of Students has reacted by saying it was astonished at the research, branding its recommendations offensive. Graham Brown has been looking at the story. So Graham, what exactly are the CBI recommending? Well, um, obviously spending cuts are the order of the day at the moment. And the CBI is recommending quite, quite wide-ranging spending cuts in terms of further education. Um, among the things they're looking at is, uh, is student loans. At the moment, student loans are quite heavily subsidised. And the, the, the rate at which the government borrows, uh, it, it, it doesn't have parity with the, the, amounts that the, stu the rates that the students get. Um, that, so what the, they want that to be clarified. The CBI are also calling for a lot less um, student grants to be given out, which would obviously save money. And the government have got this 50% target for 18 to 30 year olds to go to university. The CBI thinks that that's, that's not necessary and that perhaps less students should be going there. All these things together would obviously mean a lot less money being spent on education, which is popular with businesses who want, always want to spend less money on tax. However, as you say, unions aren't entirely impressed with this, and I think this is a, a road that's going to rumble on. Thanks, Graham. That's all from us today. See you tomorrow. Walk, walk.